Hello, the project being presented today is called Mirror Image and it's basically an interactive mirror that teaches you basic movements on how to work out. Many people want to work out and they may not know where to start. This might be for a variety of reasons. They may have never worked out in their life or thought working out would actually be something beneficial to them. Some walk away from starting due to extensive costs of maybe some programs or personal trainers. The problem with new people is chances are if they have never actually worked out before, they probably don't know the difference between good form and bad form. This could lead to lifelong injuries, sometimes irreversible. Here are some common injuries from basic movements like squatting which include knee injuries. Those are the most common since people aren't really aware of where their knees are going when they do a squat. Back injuries are not as common, but they do happen. With deadlifts, a lot of people hurt their lower back and sometimes shoulders, which can simply be fixed by using the proper form. The basic push-up, not everyone can do it, but believe it or not, it's also an easy way to hurt your back and shoulders. As you can see, when doing a squat, one of the easiest ways to blow your knee is to have them cave in. Most people are unaware of this, especially beginners, and do it unintentionally. Allowing your body to sag, as shown in the picture, can contribute to back injury you may not realize until years down the road. So the main idea of this project is to build an interactive mirror that will guide you through your workout. And we want to be able to put this anywhere. If you think about it, mirrors are everywhere. So you can put this in the gym, in a rehab center, or even your home. And there's no expensive personal trainer or gym membership needed. Personal trainers and gym memberships can get expensive. The average personal trainer can cost $60 to $70 an hour, while the average gym membership is about $40 to $50 a month. Now, with gym memberships, you don't get any real guidance unless you happen to have a gym buddy that knows what he's doing and is willing to go with you. Not to mention the gym memberships that specialize in certain areas like yoga, Bikram yoga, CrossFit, Pilates, MMA, etc. Those memberships can go for at least $150 a month if you don't want to sign a contract. That being said, the target market is the fitness industry for people just beginning to work out allow people to move better and feel good about themselves without the burden of having to pay an expensive trainer or a gym membership. Here are some of the main features and parts, which include PIR sensors, IR sensors, displays, a microcontroller, and touchscreen interactions. At the moment, we have two components working. One is the PIR sensor to detect motion. It basically detects mo motion within a certain proximity of the sensor. It senses infrared energy given off by humans or animals as demonstrated in the video to follow. As you can see, this LED light has a delay of two seconds. As a human hand goes near it, the LED light turns on, and when the hand is away, the LED light turns off. The second component is a touch sensor. We used a force sensing resistor. It literally resists your touch. One layer is resistive while the other is conductive that is separated by spacers until a person touches it. This is seen in the following video. As you can see, the person's thumb presses against the resistive touch sensor and the LED light turns on. The microcontroller we use is the Atmega 328 that will basically bring all the parts together in the end. We chose this microcontroller because it has enough ports to support our project. Some of the goals for the very near future is to program sensors to reach desired specification. The proximity sensor to detect a person from about 5 feet away and the touch sensors to maybe become more sensitive to human touch. Also to program the microcontroller for various workouts, connect all components to a power supply, and then finally put the hardware together.